the people of the cross. We are the people of the cross. We choose Christ and count all else as lost. Christ and count all else as lost. We are the people of the cross. Good morning. This is Pastor Scott again from People of the Cross. We welcome you each day from the desk. Oh, we're hoping that you appreciate and are understanding the love of Jesus Christ. That is the most important thing in the world. How much God loves you, how much we love you, and we love to see you here at the church. Highway 152 in the same center as Baskin Robbins Ice Cream. That's where we're located at. We are People of the Cross Church, Sunday school on Sunday morning, 945, church at 1045, Wednesday evening, 5 o'clock for Bible study. We study from the King James Bible. I don't believe in deviating from God's Word. We believe that God's Word is the final say of what there is for us on earth here. Today I'm going to take you into some teachings that we're going to be going into for a couple of studies here. And that is in Psalms 100. Frankly, it's talking about the praise and worship, how we're to enter into God's kingdom with praise and thanksgiving without asking for anything. But by doing that, it's going to show you how God takes care of you. When we give Him praise, He is busy about taking care of us. We as Christians have a lot to be thankful about. So don't be ashamed. You know, we'll go to a ball game, we'll throw our hat in the air, or we'll shout, we'll holler, we'll scream. But we think we come into church, we've got to be quiet and say nothing. I'm a little old-fashioned about that. I believe in praising God no matter where I'm at. I'm not going to make a fool of myself or embarrass someone, but I am going to give God thanksgiving and praise for my life, what I have, what He has given me each day that I have food on my table, I have a vehicle to drive, I have a home to go home in, a beautiful home, and I appreciate it. And it's all supplied by God. We say sometimes, I work for it. Oh yes, you work for it. But who gives you the strength and who gives you everything else in your life to be able to do just that? So I am personally, and I believe in my own personal life, that I, it's given to me as a loan from God. I don't really own it. Even if I have the deed to it or the title to it, I don't own it. It is God's, and I am thankful for it. So let's go right into the scripture today. It says, Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him in His presence with singing. Serve Him with gladness. You know, it's something to be happy and thankful and glad about. We get a nice gift from somebody. We're so happy. We smile. We're glad. We're, and we're just excited. It's something to be excited about to say that I am a child of the King. God is my Savior. He is my all. He is my everything. So, therefore, gladness and singing and giving Him praise gives God something that He wants to even give us even more. So the next scripture goes into it. says, Know that you are the Lord. He is God. It is He who has made us. No other person made us but God. From the very beginning in Genesis, He made us from the dirt of the earth. So God is in charge and not ourselves. We are not. We are His people and the sheep of His pastures. It's talking about here the product of His hands. And we are made in the likeness of Him. And He has made the pastures for us to lie in talking about the Word of God for us to feast in and to learn and read and to study. But you know, in the pasture sometime in life here on earth, things get troubled. Things get sad. There are problems and things that we come against that we can't solve. But as long as we stay in the pastures with God, He will bring by a David to slay the ox. He is to slay the lion, to beat the bear. There will be somebody, there will be an angel known Jesus Christ, Son of God, that will supply the need that you have if you will only trust Him and praise Him in all things that we have. I just want to remind you today, we believe here in this church, God is God and there is no other. And we are to praise Him and give Him thanks for our lives. And if we do that and we love Him, and we study and read His Word and learn more about Him to follow after Him, to lie in His pastures, 
our world will be a better place to be in. And therefore, that is what we're seeking today. We're looking for the lost and dying. We would like to welcome you to People of the Cross Church. Bring somebody with you that doesn't know Jesus Christ, that they might be saved. That is what we are. We are shepherds out in the flock, seeking those to whom the devil would devour, but we're wanting to save them with Jesus Christ. Not ourselves. I can't save you. But God can. His Son died that you could be saved. So therefore, that's why we are here today, seeking those that we can help. So God bless you. We look forward to seeing you. Come on down and visit us. You might just want to stick around. God bless you. You have a great day till next time. We are the people of the cross. We are the people of the cross. We choose Christ and count all else as lost. We Christ and count all else as lost. We are the people of the cross.